of what you're looking at here is a screenshot of uh, of the procedure, what it takes to do uh, uh, the 360 degree uh, photographs I'll be putting out there. <coughs> this is the menu, you go into your settings and you select sphere, and then you just uh, press the button and it begins to take the photographs automatically. What they call an intelligent feature of the drone. Uh, then you gotta realize this is a any, not an expensive drone, but this is the lower level drone, uh, consumer hobby drone. Anything else is going to cost you uh, almost twice as much as this, and it'll have uh, a greater sensor, greater capabilities. You see, I'm low on battery, but I'm 50% of the uh, spears completed. And, uh, you know, I'm winging it as I'm sitting there, wondering if I have enough time for it to get be done. I can see I have four minutes and 30 seconds left on the battery. Uh, but still, I'm wondering if it's going to try to return before it completes. And you see it completes. And I immediately hit the uh, return button. Uh, I, you know, still had a little more time, even though it says four minutes. And, and on return, you see the drone rising up to 250 feet. If you look at the uh, left-hand side of the uh, video on the screen, I have it set for that. Uh, I'm starting to realize that may be a big high. I could have it set at 200, maybe even 180. But being new to the drone, I just make sure it's over everything before it returns. All right, uh, Hebrew Fish and Philly. Uh, chat with y'all later. Get on video on the comeback. Uh, I'm looking at it, but oh yeah, I see it now. You know, I used to have trepidation when it came back, but uh, it has downward sensors, and so it sees. <laughs> 